Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Celebrity Big Brother 2 episode 4 chat. It's um, fiction night. It is. The first one of the season. Well, last time Ricky didn't use the veto. Mm -hmm. And Tom, Anthony, and Jonathan remained on the block. It's a real sausage fest. Pretty much. Alright, well, some, Ryan noticed something at the power veto ceremony. There was a, a little wiggity wiggity wiggity. Yeah. <laughs> He looked in the mirror and he went, the mirror. Yeah. What, what's going on with the girls? Who was it? It was, was it Lolo or no? Natalie and I, Tamar? Tamar? Natalie and Tamar, yeah. I want to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know for sure. Um, but they were pretty excited about that. He said, why are those girls doing the wiggity wiggity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Jonathan found out ab about that, he put the pieces together and he was like, this may not be good for me because why would they be celebrating me, their ally, staying up on the block? <laughs> Maybe they were celebrating themselves staying off the block because their own allies were ready to turn on them. Right? Well, in other news, Ryan announces that there will be breaking celebrity news. Oh. Like in five seconds. Yeah. Entertainment tonight. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, so this is the first uh, twist, big twist. Of the I season. wouldn't call this a twist. I think it was kind of a twist. It wasn't a twist. It was CBS's ploy to get a big name and dispose of them very shortly and not have them stay in the house to pay them the big bucks. Well, before we break this down, here's what happened. The mooch was all not there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody gathered in the living room mm -hmm. and Ryan was like, oh, one of, the, one of the house guests is not really a house guest. And they were all like, who is it? Uh, maybe the, the one, one that's not, not there. there. <laughs> maybe. Um, so yeah, mooch shows up on the TV screen. He was, <laughs> in, <laughs> he was in his suit, which is so funny because on the last sneak preview of the feeds before the show started, mm -hmm. He got all dressed he got up in his, his suit. suit. Yeah, and they were he like, just oh. started dry clean. Yeah, they were like, why are you looking all dressed up? And he was like, oh, I just got to do like some pickups or whatever. Yo, he was getting ready to leave. Yeah. Okay, so Didn't anyway. Did they wonder why he only brought one suit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but he let them know, I'm not a real house guest, and I'm out of here. And on my way out, to teach everyone about the importance of second, second chances. chances. There's another veto. What? And it's called the mooch veto. Yeah. Mooch's veto. So before they can do the veto competition, Ryan has to nominate somebody else in Mooch's place. I kind of wish that they hadn't made another third nom, you know, like another. Just left it as two. Yeah, just left it as two and then still did a, um, another veto. veto. Yeah. Thank you for the, thank you for the word. <laughs> yeah, we finished each other's. Sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. So Ryan nominated Candy, which was okay, but the reason that he gave was pretty lame. Couldn't he have just said that they didn't get a chance to get to know each other yet? Our personalities don't mesh. And she was uh, like... Yeah, she was like, I thought they did, but okay, like this is news to me. So yeah. that's pretty awkward. It but was really awkward. Yeah, before we move on here, a lot of people were saying that they thought that the Mooch quit, and this was like CBS's way of covering it up. I don't agree. I think that this was planned all along. I think they wanted a big White House name on this season and they knew that he was already scheduled way in advance to yep. be at Davos and um, this was the only way that they could get him in there. Right. And they were like, you know what, we're just going to get you in there for the first week and then we'll get you out of there as part of a twist. You'll get your yep. money and we'll get your name. I suspect just like they did the evil dick situation. I don't know. I honestly don't know about that, so I can't it comment on it. It seems plausible. I don't know. Um, but anyway, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ask Ryan. Oh. Because he's still freaking messed up say, about the flip off. No, but I just feel like it's so crappy that they like... Hoodwinked us? Yeah. Why wouldn't you say from the beginning? You know, let us in on the joke. Exactly. Like, they're like the the crappy people, like um, Derek Clevisor, who won't own their game in the Oh, uh, I was like, who? No, they should have just like made him the saboteur or something. Yeah. 
but, but no, they had to fool us into thinking they were able to get somebody for the duration. Yeah. And they couldn't. I was wondering how he was going to get away from his business for so long. But, uh, for three weeks. But anyway, yeah, really. it's a long vacation. Um, Not anyway. Really. Ryan, like you said, is still messed up about Lolo flipping off his and Jonathan's photos on he the wall. He wants her to pay! Yeah, so now he has another opportunity to potentially put her up on the block, and he's like, ooh, I could get Lolo up there. So he's definitely thinking about it again. Well, it's time for Mooch's veto, and they have to pick two more people, so Kato and De Deanna, Diana, <laughs> aka Dina, yeah. get to uh, play. Yeah. So this was a really lame veto competition. It was called um, Real News or Fake News, and mm -hmm. you had to guess how many of the uh, giant headlines yeah. were actually true. They went into about this the room mooch. with a bunch of fake newspaper articles all over the floor and the walls. Mm -hmm. They were kind of fun. There was some lame jokes in there, but <laughs> there was some fun stuff too. Now, um, now we know why Mooch was saying stupid stuff. The like when he was time. saying the thing about the veto looking like the toilets in Trump Towers, just like why would you say that? It's so random. But yeah. now it makes sense. He was saying that crap because they made for this him. Competition. They made him say it. Hey, he had to earn that money somehow. I guess so. <laughs> it's not a free ride. So, Kato was the only one who guessed eight. Yeah. Most people guessed seven. I think Diana six guessed like five. six. Who said five? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody said five. I think you're right. Somebody said five. So Kato won. Mm -hmm. He was good at uh, remembering people saying stupid stuff, but he's not very good at giving high fives because he knocks people <laughs> over. He basically like hit Candy in the face. He missed on somebody else too. He's like, Ugh. yeah. They were not good. Yeah. So good thing it was not. A high five or high ten competition. No. So it would have been rough. So Kato is planning on saving Tom. Thank God! <gasps> Yay! Those two, I actually really like their... Um, the dynamic? Yeah, I think... Dynamic? <laughs> I think they have a lot of really good strategy talks and mm -hmm. I think they complement each other really well because you guys have been watching the spoilers, you know Tom has been freaking out the last few days and Kato's really been calming him down. So I like it. So let's pretend to be Ryan and Lolo after the veto um, meeting. Hey, what's up? Uh, is everything okay? It is, is it not right? okay. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I heard you were gonna backdoor me. Backdoor? What? what? Yeah, he was like, yeah. I like, uh, like, uh, backdoor. Uh, like, I didn't backdoor you. I'm not gonna. you I'm not. You. What? Go Come on! You. I can only imagine what it was like when he freaking got caught making up that lie. Go USA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? That means USA? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he got called out and he was not very good at covering it up. She knows that she cannot trust him or Jonathan. She knows. Yeah. So it's time for the POV ceremony and Kato uses it on Tom, which makes a big red flag in the in the house. I mean, it's pretty obvious that those two are working together, right? But or, we didn't get to see their, their speeches. <laughs> we didn't get to see the speeches, one of which Ricky referred to as condescending. Ouch. So All right. Ryan's got to put up somebody else. And he decides to put up his pal Joey. Hey, pal pawn. Joey. <laughs> That's a movie. <laughs> it is. Yeah, so he put up his own friend as a pawn. Let's ask Jordan from Big Brother Canada how that worked out. <laughs> Jordan, um, yeah, so... I just can't help but say <laughs> that Joey reminds me so much of, if you've ever seen Aqua Teen Hunger Force... No! The Happy Time Harry doll. <laughs> okay. So sad. Stop. Okay, so anyway, um, he did get Joey's permission before putting him up, and Joey's like, whatever, because honestly, does Joey really care if he goes home? Not really. He wants to go home. He just wants his paycheck. He wants to see his family. He wants a natural release. <laughs> All right. What is he, a pressure cooker? Okay, so anyway, 
there's some debate here. Yeah. Should we still get rid of Jonathan? Get rid of a big player? Or should yeah, we get rid of Candy? a little meeting in the lounge. I believe it was Tom, Kato, Ricky, and then Lolo, Lolo came joined. in. Yeah, and they said, well, if we get rid of Candy... That'll make Tamar happy. And it'll make the rest of the house a lot more peaceful. Oh, I just want to say, remember Tamar's face when Candy was first nominated? <laughs> oh, she was eating that up. Try to hide that face, girl. <laughs> Woo! Okay, but anyway, yeah. So they were like, I don't know. Does it really matter if we get rid of Candy or not? Like, can't people uh, just put up with it? And Lola was like, this is very serious. <laughs> she is keeping us up every night. They're yeah. talking about Tamar because Tamar has been... An emotional roller coaster. Blah blah blah, blah blah. She was all. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> or if we get rid of Jonathan, we get rid of a strong competitor because let's face it, he's Shannoning. He is Shannoning big time, mm. big time. Shannoning all over the place. Yeah. So Julie checks in and she says, "House guests, this is Julie Chen Moonves." And there will be more celebrity breaking news. You can count on it. Mm -hmm. Not right now, though. We're going to evict one of you right now. So plead for your lives. Okay. Happy time, Harry, a.k.a. Joey, gets up first and says, Only one of us can win. And, and it won't be me. <laughs> and if it's not me, I don't give a shit because I want to go home. Yeah, basically. And then Candy, rocking the lipstick. Love that color. Mm, girl, that was beautiful. I want to stay. I like that she said that. She's like, honestly, like, I love my family, but I want to be here, mm -hmm. and I'm not a threat to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Not even you, Tamar. All right. Or Tamar, as, um... Ryan called her Tamar. <laughs> what? Okay. What is wrong with him? Next up, Jonathan. This was a kind of weird speech. You're all my teammates. I helped you all. I was in this house for 30 seconds before I didn't I didn't have to help helping. you. Yeah, <laughs> what was up with that? That was like a really weird speech. I guess because like he told a lot of people like how the game works since most of them have never seen the show before. And he's like, all right, I need you guys to back me up here. Because you're my teammates. It wasn't like a mean speech. It's just not exactly what I was expecting from him. No. So the vote went uh, for Jonathan to be evicted. Candy only got one vote. From Dina. Because she's not going to vote out Jonathan. No way. Just like he wouldn't have her put up on the block. Yeah. So <laughs> he was just like. Oh my god. Yeah. His I eyes, he, man. I thought he was going to run out and not hug anybody. But... No. He was, I have to say, he had a very nice, classy, sweet mm -hmm. exit. I'm yeah. glad it wasn't bitter. Because that would have been really sad. No, because it looked like he was heading for the door. And then he was like, oh, wait, I have to... I think he was probably just shocked. I guess. You could see it. He was all... And Ryan was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, it was... They were not expecting that. It was definitely a blind side. Yeah. So, it's well, time for... <laughs> you know who, uh, who else blindsided us? Freaking Julie. What? When Julie... Oh, yeah! <laughs> what happened? What was that? Is that what you asked, Liz? What happened? I don't know. What, I don't know. Well, I don't. I'm not even gonna. Cause what? What was that? I don't know. But um, you guys are always like, why are you talking about Julie's outfits in a negative way? I really liked her outfit today. I think she looked very, very beautiful. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Okay. Although, We're positive sometimes. I'm not exactly sure those shoes went with it. All right. Stop. <laughs> the dress was nice though, and her hair looked. Dress nice. was very nice. Okay. Uh. It basically came down to Jonathan's alliance being as dumb as wood. Okay, here's the thing. Jonathan really got screwed over by that first HOH twist thing. He was one of the winners of the HOH competition. You should not be punished for that by being put up on the block. I think that's bull. Didn't he also get screwed over by Ryan telling everyone about their alliance? Telling and... everyone about everything? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could say, though, that was Jonathan's choice to put his trust in Ryan. It was a bad move. I mean, he made a lot of mistakes this week, but I really do think that he got screwed over by that twist. Somebody's gotta get screwed. <laughs> I, it sucks though, because 
he is one of the only people on this show that has actually watched the show, is a fan of the show. So to see him go out first, I feel bad for him. But you know what? It's going to be so much more fun watching the celebrities not know what's going to happen or what, you know what I mean? There is something to be said for that. I love watching this messy gameplay because they have no idea what's going on. Exactly. <laughs> so he was, her, him and... Tamar are probably the only two who actually have an inkling of what. And how going messy on. has Tamar been, though? It's <laughs> not personal, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So they didn't start the H O H yet. They're no, they be didn't. Starting it momentarily, probably. In by a the time bit. this goes up. In a little bit. So if you guys don't want to wait until uh, Sunday night's episode, check out tomorrow's spoiler. Yeah. Actually, we'll put the winner in the info for mm -hmm. today's spoiler, and then we'll talk about it tomorrow. Right. Well, well I'll you talk will. About it. You will. All right. <laughs> so let us know what you guys thought of this episode. Who are you rooting for for H O H? And until next time, much, much love. love.